Today, guys, I am actually down in Littleport to actually come see the older brother to my BMW M240i. And by older brother, I mean better looking, better spec, more savage BMW. So I'm gonna be driving home today, basically crying in my pov spec BMW. So guys, inside this unit right here, don't know what he's doing right now. He sounds like he's having a party. The car that we're viewing today is in there. So, I think it's time to open this bad boy up. joined with David from DH Styling and this is his unit. Uh, if you don't, guys don't recognize it, he actually did a chameleon tint on my M240i. And not too long ago, David actually messaged me, yo, I'm getting a new bad boy whip tomorrow. Come on! So I had to put on my big boy pants, head down to Littleport and check this car out. All right, so here we've got a 2018 BMW 440i. Got the B58 in it, the 3 liter. And then for the spec wise, we've got a um, heads up display, we've got a digital dash. Um, we've got heated seats, sensors all about it. And then um, in terms of what we've done to it, I've done a few bits already to it. Obviously I've put the new alloys on it. And then um, we've put a res delete on it and carbon fiber bits on it. So we've got carbon fiber ring mirror caps, side skirts, diffuser. Yeah. That's about it for the car. Not, not much else, yeah. Pretty boring car. Nah, it's an absolute bad boy spec, guys. This car sh on my M240. So without further ado guys, we're gonna go out and then maybe in a, in a little bit, we'll do a drag race or a little race between M240 versus 440. So let's go. And that is why I turned cold top off on my M240i. Look at that, oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Right, so here is the two cars lined up, the 440i and the 240i. I don't even know what the difference is. Like, what would you even say the difference is? I feel like yours is refined, I'd, I'd, I'd say, you know? It just looks cleaner, I guess. Yeah, here is, which one do you guys prefer? The 440 or the 240? It is honestly so weird, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very weird, right? The step up between a 240 to 440, which one would you prefer? A 240 or a 440? You guys comment down below. And if you comment 240, subscribe. I just, I definitely say that this is just a bit more refined, a bit more, um, I just don't know the words to explain it. It just looks clean, I think. It's still very, very similar. It's just a better looking brother, basically. Same engine. It literally is like a brother because it's got the same engine, same internals, but this one's got a good personality. That's why people choose him. That's why. Inside, look at this blooded interior, guys. Pro nav screen, that is what we're gonna get soon. It's touchscreen. Oh my God, it's touchscreen. Digital dash as well. Wow. Heated seats, oh. Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing with a 240? Self-closing doors as well, dude. Oh my God. It just gave me my seatbelt. Look at that, starlights. Oh. oh my, look at that, mate. It's so bloody pointless, but it's just so lovely. I'm too poor to step in here, mate. I feel like I need to wipe my shoes before getting in this. Right, so here's actually the heads-up display. Oh, oh my. Oh my God. That is mad. Now guys, just before we get into today's video, I would like to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Carista. And this is actually their new Carista. Evo. Carista is actually an OBD2 Bluetooth adapter that can do some pretty awesome things. We'll actually hop in the car and I'll show you guys exactly what it can do. So to get started, all we need to do is plug this into the OBD port of our car, connect it to our phone, and we're good to go. So the first thing this Carista device can actually do is customize and unlock hidden features from your car. On certain makes and models of cars, you can check that using the link in the description. But we can activate and customize things such as coming home and leaving home lights, so the lights will stay on for a little bit while we leave the car, or when we unlock it, 
it, which is a nice premium feature. We can actually turn on puddle light when in reverse, which is an amazing feature so we don't curb our wheels and so, so, so much more. It is incredible. The next thing we can do is check and reset fault code. So if you get an engine light up on your dash, you plug the car restart in, diagnose it, and it will tell you exactly what is wrong. We can also perform DIY service procedures such as resetting service interval lights, fuel system priming, throttle body adaptation. The list goes on and on and on, guys. And last but not least, we can actually read live data from the car so we can see exactly what is going on. And if there's anything wrong, we can see exactly what is wrong. So if you guys are at all interested in picking up our car Rista Evo, click the link in the description to check if your car is compatible today. And don't forget to use code Michael25 when checking out with the car Rista device for a little bit money off. But let's get back to the 440i. This is nice though. It is this pit. So, you know, some people don't like red interior, but this is nice. I think with the silver and like the carbon fiber yeah. style thing, it looked really nice. What caught my eye. So if you guys didn't know, David actually owns DH Styling, which is a Tintin partial wraps. Or... Now we do full wraps now. So oh, yeah. Tintin full wraps, also yeah. do a bit of tuning. So stage one remaps and that. Yeah, and your own, how old are you? I'm 19. And you started DH Styling how long ago? Coming up to a year, about 10, 10 months. Yeah, and you can look at yourself now and see you're, you're very busy. You're very successful for your age. I think a lot of people probably look up to you because, you know, everybody always comes to me and says they want to start this or start that. Yeah. Oh, look at you, whipping in a 440i. You did it all yourself, basically, so. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, got, I get a lot of people messaging me how to start their own business and that. If anyone's got any questions, just shoot me a message. I'm always there to help people out. That makes my belly go, mate. That's, it's so much quicker when you're passenger. You don't realize how quick it is until you get passenger. Like, this is how my passengers must feel. So much quicker. For the pops, I'd say they're like, they're a bit unreliable. Yeah. They kind of do their own thing. I do find that with MHD, to be fair. Sometimes it pops, sometimes it doesn't. And I find that if you pop it too loud once, it stops it completely. Yeah. Like there, it's not yeah. popping, but I think, No. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to do it today. Camera shot, mate. Yeah. It's got stage fright. Oh. There, there we go. go. There we go. Fucking hell. Oi. There you go. You know those memes sitting in a passenger seat of a BMW <laughs> driver? I know exactly what you're on about. Mm. It's just, it's just so much levels above mine. And this Pro now screen, look at this. Oh my days. Obviously the GoPro's there, but look at this guys. We've also got heated seats. Going for a launch, baby. Going for a launch. Hopefully nothing breaks. Hopefully. Look at it gliding. <laughs> wow. Stage two, baby. Oh my life. That was only to 60, weren't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was 50. That was 50 and a 60 mile per hour limit, mate. But you've had quite a few cars previously to this. Mm. You've had a Polo. Polo. That was, that was a famous one, that was. Yeah, the, the Air Ride purple one. Yeah. Had a Fiesta, yeah. a Corsa, a E46 convertible, yeah. a 330D, E46, a 320D, a 325D92, a um, 325D Touring. And How many fucking this. cars have you been through, mate? Eight. Eight? Yeah. What's your plans for this car? Is it just to um, send it or stage two, stage three, or? I think. The, or just enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to go meth and all that. But I think um, definitely high pressure fuel pump. Oh, sh look at that. Oh, it looks like a, f that's a crate. That's not a pole, that's a crater, mate. mate. That's like World War II trenches. Yeah, I know where I'm hiding if uh, the bombs mm -hmm. start dropping. Yeah, just all the standard bits and yeah. uh, get it running some reliable power. Yeah. 
and then uh, you know what I'm getting done soon, which I think will be crazy, is a uh, DH styling racing livery. Oh shit! Yeah. Really? I think DH styling racing livery. I had a police car behind me, like, deafing at pull me. Like it looks like I'm drunk. <laughs> What, look at the fucking roads, mate. It's like, oh, this is, they, these roads, mate. It's yeah. like a fucking roller coaster going up and down that. Huh? I know, they're horrible. Do you always drink fuel? No, mine's quite good, actually. What? My MX-5 is the most fuel efficient car. <laughs> Out of the two, but it doesn't really. Mate, mine drinks it like it's nothing. You know what I find funny about that though? People say their car drinks fuel, but but I can see your foot hitting the floor. <laughs> I don't drive like this all the time. I actually drive sensibly because how bad the fuel is. I'll, I'll easily go through a tank of fuel in half a day. Yeah. It is ridiculous. I've had a few close calls with this car. These cars step out. And is it, does it step out on Sport Plus or do you have DSC off? Um, steps out on Sports Plus. Just oh, it's plus, mental. Yeah. It is cra Sports Plus, I think it does save you last second, mm -hmm. but it does slip out. I can do no full donuts with Sports Plus. You have to be a different driver to drive something like this or a C63. You have to... People think they can just hop in, but nah. Mm -hmm. Sport Plus, oh, the amount of times I've twitched out of roundabouts. She, those brakes work. She is hot. Hot. My bad, geez. He ain't got a B58, has he? No. <laughs> He's got a Tesco van. <laughs> you never know, this is where he actually has like an M3 tour at home. <laughs> but I like this because it's not too... I don't think B58s sound too loud. Unless you maybe straight pipe them. I've never heard a straight pipe B58. A but bit too loud. Really? Have you heard one? Never heard They're of They're very loud. Never heard a straight pipe. Obviously, if you guys want tints, just like the chameleon tin. David, tell them where they, where they can find you. Just um, head over to Instagram, search up DH Styling. You can uh, drop us a message on there to get booked in. You can also see all of our previous work. You can even find Michael's car on there. Woo. What's that? BMW driver using the indicators? Right. Last thing to do was, of course, put these two cars up against each other in Forza Horizon 5. Let's do this. in that drag race. I had him at the start, but then he caught up. He's actually running 470 brake horsepower and mine is running 450. So that extra like 20 brake horsepower caught up in the end. But I wanted to do this specific video at the start of the year because David, just like myself, right? We all, we both had dreams at one point and slowly after years and months of hard work, they become true. We both didn't get given these BMWs. They're not the most exotic McLaren, Ferrari cars out there, but we've worked to get them, right? David took courses on tinting, right? And then started his own tinting company after that. And gradually he learned to wrap, remap. He's took courses throughout everything basically. And he's upgraded himself and his business to grow his dream. So I wanted to do this video guys because we're no more special than you. If you guys want to do something this year in 2024, nothing is going to hand it to you. Only hard work from yourself is going to do it. If you want it guys, you'll go get it. You won't make excuses. And hopefully soon, right, me and you will be drag racing in our BMWs. Or you never know. If the dreams are big enough, drag racing in our Ferraris, come on. Guys, I believe in you. 2024 is your year, my guy. Make it your year. So, all right then, guys. Unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. Uh, the 440i versus the 240i. Big thank you to David for, you know, showing the car. Let me know which one you prefer, though. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy today's video. Uh, make sure to check out David in the link below. And subscribe for more car features there's a lot more coming so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see the faces in my